Hello and welcome back to Kina Plays Undermine. Let's go. We're pretty deep into a run now. With some pretty damn good drops. Not as good as the god run we were doing that I completely keynoted up by not using the tent, but still good. Leo, come get some. Oh, come on, you stupid eyeball monster. There we are. Oh, <laughs> yep, what a shocker, I landed on the spikes. Plus the damage from jumping. Ooh, we got you. Yep, I'll definitely spend two bombs on that. Um, this might not be a, the best room for trying to use this potion. Eh, maybe if I make enough room up top. So much gold! Holy crap! I guess I'm sharing me chicken chimkin nuggets with these slimes then. I could not grab all of it. Uh, do I have anything to sell here? I don't think I do. Um, nothing on this page. Um. No, I think I'll keep everything. Yeah, but, well, I'll just spend a bomb to get that key then. Like so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you thorny crap. And I hit the same one twice because I'm Kino. Uh, crit rate up. Healing up. Ah, it's so good not having the bombushka anymore. <laughs> This one? I haven't seen you before. Repeatedly returns damage. Yeah, it seems to be like a better form of the thorn mail, but we'll see what exactly it is next time I get attacked. Now then, there was food back at the shop. Full. God damn, 95 healing off a cooked one now. What level have I brought these things to? Holy crap. Nine? Seven, five? Jesus. So what, what are my negatives? Um, more gold on death, shop prices have gone up, ouch. Dungeon jumping and harder to find secret rooms. That 
that's odd. My secret room potion doesn't seem to be wearing off. I don't see a timer on it. Maybe the potion isn't even working because of that negative thing I have for finding case finding um, hidden rooms. Uh-oh, we're on the boss floor. Okay, well, at least that door stayed open, so I could still skip this boss if I wanted to, but at the moment, I'm actually in a pretty decent place. Ah, still only healing two. Oh, hell yes. Okay, so that's what that's like. That is definitely an upgraded version of the Thorn Armor. Ah, yeah, good point. I need to reach level 11 for it to work, don't I? Now that's interesting, so I could intentionally hurt myself by jumping in order to set it off. Yeah, only two damage to get the AoE aura? That's definitely worth it. Now I have to remember to keep at least some of these bombs, because we need to blow up those... Oh god, no. Ooh, this might be bad. We'll see. But yeah, I need to keep at least some bombs, because... That dragon boss has those safety patches at the sides, which I have to blow up with bombs to get access to. <laughs> Come on game, give me the keyblade. Oh, 
I'll save buying that until the next floor, until we've beaten it. Because why waste gold if I don't need to? Ah! Bad aim is bad. Hmm. I mean, two doppelgangers could be very nice against a boss. Oops. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Oh, yeah, that doubles bombs, which I don't really need right now, I don't think. Although, that could be a smart move, actually. Yeah, I'm going to get that double bomb thing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Tim. It might be good in combination with this danger at 90 degree thing against the boss. Yeah, because you could... Um, yeah, when there's multiple heads, could plant a bomb at one r and run towards the other, just in case. Um, I wouldn't be able to do damage to both of them, though, Termo. Because I was only able to do damage to the one that had that crystal on its neck. So you had to see it fast enough to go help it. Um, go attack it, I mean. Come on, I've got... 30,000 has got to be enough gold. More? More what? It can't it can't be about gold then, because I mean I've got thirty-two thousand. That that should be more than enough to go through this door if that's if it's only gold. What do these pilfers want? Maybe I need to kill more of the big ones that are hard to successfully kill. Or maybe I need to let them steal more of my money. Or something. Really don't know. Now let's get back to full health then. Ready for this fight. Oh boy, here we go. Boss fight, take two. Okay, that one definitely works better because I can actually tell where it's going to blow up, at least. Oh, crap! Okay, I don't like that. Although, that would work well for when I'm fighting two of them, I suppose. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, that's just 125 damage. I can pass that in no time with me regular attacks. Ow! That's all. I was in the middle of drinking. Thank you. Ooh, nice music. Oh no. Yep, that was bad. Okay, I'm out of potions. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot I've got the ability to make it take more damage, haven't I? Oh great, now there's three. And now four. Yes! Oh, some of my gold went flying off the edge. Loyalty. Hmm. I wonder that'll be. Some potion. Detailed. <laughs> that was a fun boss fight. Oh, um. Let's just see what you've said. Um, the low passage of flying conditions are met. Paid a hundred thousand to the tribute fountain? What the hell is the tribute fountain? I don't know what that is. Rapport is not required for entering the bargain, can be lost before reaching the entrance. Rapport is in the player's inventory, and the player's gotten the plundered crown? Okay, so I need some sort of plundered crown and stuff. Some donation thing. Um, oh, yeah, tent. And ham. <laughs> And Scoot Bomb. Use up all my potions though, oh boy. Oops, wrong way. Content for me. Wee. And yeah, I'm almost at fifty thousand gold. God damn. Hot, hot heat. Entered the golden core. Yeah, I thought so. I, but I needed to check. <laughs> Map. But where's the shortcut guy? Normally there's an exit to the shortcut guy from here. That's odd. stage is gonna kick my ass, I think. Not a lot of gold so far, considering it's the gold cave. I guess it's because all the gold's melted. Damn 
mean, our zone is full. Kill this jumping crap. So much simpler. Oh god damn it, I should have tried blowing up things while I was in that room. Yeah. Oh well, I can waste some bombs I guess. Could be right, Turma. I mean, I take almost no damage off a jump, and it activates me bomb, so... Yeah. Mm. Way more crit chance. And swing speed. Ow! <laughs> that was stupid. Especially since I'd already blo blown up there to open the fucking thing. <laughs> stupid goddamn Kina. No! Ooh, okay, damage sources have gone up again. That was 60 damage. Unless I'm taking more damage because of this. No, it's healing's less effective. I should probably consider curing some of my curses though at this point. <laughs> Items around, not worth it. You and you. Ooh! Why would I want that? No! Removes all. Removes all curses, bombs, keys, and sets health to one. Fuck off! I would have to have some insanely horrible cases to ever want to do that. Yeah, like, maybe if I had the curse that gives you a, a maximum 1 HP, then I get, I'm guessing that would fix your HP since it only says health at 1, not max health to 1. So you'd get your max health back and then you could then buy food to heal up. But otherwise, fuck off! That's just awful. Ah, much as I want the swing speed, I'm going to cure some of these cases because they're stacking up. Although I 
could have saved the money and used the tent. <laughs> hmm, I wonder. Yes! So play it smart and I can just put it in the middle. Bomb bag. Meh. Ow, you bastard. But that worked. Close enemy projectiles. Interesting. It saved me a key. Oh no, it's the really dangerous bomb guy. Oh no, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought he was the one who had my bomb, but he just has the fire bomb. I hadn't even noticed that. So my rebound axe also applies the damage re um, weakness thing. And yeah, slow projectiles is definitely nice. Armor! to swap your items around. Not worth it. Um, yeah. Oh, idiot king. I should have tried bombing things while I was in there. Then again, I might end up destroying all the items, so maybe not. Now this is sus, it looks like maybe there's a, something to do in here, to make a chest spawn. Maybe I have to willingly take damage.
Ow. <laughs> oh! Well, there we go, we see some rotten food. That then stopped being rotten once it was cooked. Okay. Yeah, it would definitely be nice to have a blessing swap at Zermo. Seeing as though I don't need these at all, being able to turn that into anything else would just be great. Now let's go back to full health and then on to the next floor. I think there's still some food left in the shop. Eh, one steak. And a key. You can keep the bomb, dude. No, I didn't want to pick that up. Yeah, exactly, Termo. Getting the keys just in case the keyblade shows up. Huh, interesting. So sometimes it won't have food, it'll have an armor piece. I think we've seen that before, but I forgot he did that. Um, put out fire immediately. Why not? I mean, there's no reason not to grab it. I will leave you there for now. I may need you later on. <laughs> okay, he's turned to stone. Like the gargoyles do. Ow! Okay, this room makes me very sus. There could be a lot of good items in here. Run, 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 run! Holy shit! Well, there goes me jump damage. worth it overall. Wait, what's that curse? I don't recognise the smoky one. Uncooked food is less effective. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I, I auto-cook all my food. Crit up! God damn it. Oh. And the wet blanket doesn't work at the moment because there's been absolutely no sources of water because this floor is too hot. So maybe I shouldn't have wasted the gold on it. <laughs> um, are there any that I would willingly sell though? At this point. Um, 
To be honest, no. I mean, I'd, the only one I'd even consider selling is Rook's Bomb. Because it can be dangerous to me. Oh, that combo's nice! Sending out spikes from all of the supplementary explosions. Oh, yes! Well, that backfired. that little bit of stupidity at the end, that was actually pretty damn good. And since they don't hurt me, that's just very nice. I just have to avoid the main body of the explosion. <laughs> oh, now if, I, now if I could just get the artifact that increases damage of explosions for each kill you do. Nope. You can get lost. I am never going to take the risk of using the Berserker. Thank you. At least not unless I also have like a potion that gives me invincibility for a short amount of time. <laughs> eh. Hang on, is that an upgrade? I don't remember it protecting me from electrified water before. Um, the poison was already there, but I don't remember electrified water. Damn it, I destroyed the food. Mm. There should work. Wait, was that golden food? That looked like golden food to me. One choice. Oh well. I'd say this was the right choice anyway. Yeesh. Oh crap, I could have used this potion to heal off that damage. I haven't been grabbing that one. And that's two levels of it straight away. Ah, and it didn't use me bombs in either room. And that was a really pointless bomb since that attached to a room I already had. God damn it, Kino! However, I can combine these two. Lovely. 
lots of healing. Ooh, we're on the boss floor now. We haven't seen this boss. So do not let me forget that I have a tent <laughs> this time. Wait, what? There's another doggy? But but I already rescued all the doggies. There were only three. Maybe this one. Maybe Banjo got added in today's game update. Yeah, where's Demi? It's it's showing them in the, as a mod still, so they should be here. Oh crap! I've completely forgotten what voice I was doing for this guy as well. Hello there, stranger. My name is Tus a hum uh, Tus, a humble traveling bard. Would you like to hear my music? I am quite the strummist. I'm also not as humble as I originally claimed. Stranger, could I bend your ear for but a moment? So many in this kingdom pack the theatre. But what about the up-and-coming musicians? An artist needs a place to practice their craft, and a rift does not come free. Charity is compassion, and compassion is understanding. Understanding that there are those still making their way. One day these people will be in a position to help because they were helped. Toma, can you check how much money I need to give this guy? Please. Anyways, thank you for listening to my impassioned rambling. Charity is compassion, and compassion is understanding. Understanding that there are those still making their way. One day, these people will be in a position to help, because they were helped. Anyways, thank you for listening to my impassioned rambling. Yeah, I just, I already read that one. Pet the doggo! Okay, so it's percentage based. No point giving him 10% or under, because he'll just complain and won't give me anything. 10% to 50% and he gives you a random relic. Next, The next relic... Uh, and this will be added to the relic pool for the next run. More than 50%, it'll give you a choice of 24 relics to choose from? Only one you choose will be removed from the relic pool, the rest can be found later in the run. If his bag is broken by the peasant, he will play a fast tempo song and refuse to take any more tips. He will also get, give you between one and three random major or minor curses. Ooh, yeah. So don't go breaking his bag. Hmm. I'm, I'm really not sure if I want to give him 50% of my gold. I mean, I'm on the boss floor. If I beat the boss, I will give him 50% of my gold. But only if I beat the boss.
really need the battle stand at this run. I mean, I've got such crazy stats already that that will make them insane for the first few seconds. some water for the blanket. So destroying its head, it can regenerate from. You've got to destroy it from the tail onwards. Okay then. Okay, I'll save getting the armor until it's time for the boss fight. Otherwise I'll accidentally collect or destroy that food. I'm just realising just how stupid that what I just did was Timmer. Because I should have saved that for the boss room. Because that's a ton of explosions where no pilferers would spawn and it would have healed me as I was picking them up. God damn it. Fuck! So much damage!
what's in that room first and then go into the other room. use this safely. Maybe that low. No! Well, at least I don't have to spend money on that then. That looped a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah, that too, Termo. I, I would have also had a whole bunch of attack damage against the boss because of doing chain lightning off picking up gold. So I made me What the hell just hurt me? Oh! Take damage per potion each room. So I just lost the armor because of the potions I've got. Wonderful. Well, I'll heal 60 health off this. Make that 120. Um, I'm, I am going to buy the armor Tomo because I'm going to spend... I'm going to waste the doppelganger rather than taking it into the fight with me. Because it didn't really seem to be particularly helpful. It, with this bomb type, it's more likely to kill me. I'll save spending any more gold until the next time. Well, until we beat the boss. If I beat the boss. Wait. There's no exit. Am I done if I beat this boss? Have I made a mistake? Huh. Well, only one way to find out. I mean, I, I, there's no way I'm giving half of my gold over now for something that gives you stuff for the rest of the run if I'm... if there's not going to be any rest of the run anyway and if I'm going to die anyway. Okay, yeah, those just do damage. You can't stop them. Oh, I do not think I'm going to win this fight. Eep. Nice boss music. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> yeah, at least now we know where the Salamander's relic comes from. All those relics! And all those kills! God damn, that was a two and a half hour run. And I barely got any thorium on the entire run. Hmm. Hmm. So I could get a load of upgrades from here. Could improve the food. 
more options for blessings. Start with an even more powerful blessing. I might get all the things out of this room. Um, how about the other rooms? Oh, um, I should see about this thing that I found. Oh! Cheaper shop items! That's a nice blessing. Ooh! Uh, oh, so much money gone! But that's the max. That's the maximum number of upgrades for that. Okay, that's good. Nice. Oh, not quite enough. At least we're finally starting to set to finish buying everything. Let's make potions last longer as well. Okay, that's not sold out yet. Oh, where's the where's the new doggo that we discovered? Looks like he hasn't come up to the surface with us. Oh, we also got a new we can play a new thing so. Word has reached me, peasant. You have defeated the great Ponzu of the Shimmering Caverns. This is an enormous accomplishment, and only means one thing. Only one fragment remains. The final fragment lies deep in the golden core, the fiery, uh, uh, a fiery hell of molten gold. Should you survive it, you will return rich beyond your wildest imagination. The odds, though, are slim. We are so very close to our goal, peasant. Lilith and others conspire against us. They do not wish us to succeed. Leave that to me, though. Remain focused on your task. You cannot fail now. Hurry, peasant. Make your way to the Golden Core. Okay then. Well, if you discover what the hell he's plotting yet or what. I have figured out Arkanos' plans, Lamb. He is not concerned with slaying evil. He seeks the stones held by the ancients and the powers they possess. Come close, peasant, and I will explain what the stones are. Many worship him, peasant, but Din is no god. He is a king from ages past, and long ago he split his soul into pieces, each piece secured in a stone. He achieved immortality by doing this, and has been worshipped as a god ever since. Why am I telling you this? After all, I am supposedly a priestess of Din. I'm not sure, Lamb. Maybe I'm coming to realise that I was the sheep all along. Stuck in the middle of a terrible power struggle between two egotistical beings. Okay. Interesting. Sus intensifies. However, we will begin this run after the break next time on Kino Plays Undermine. New episodes upload daily to the YouTube channel, 9pm UK time. Thank you for joining me, take care, and goodbye.